no, we couldn't buy it. We got leaks. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm glad that's out there now, man. It was it was a real treat to see. That's you know, if that's any indication of what the rest of the film is gonna do, it's gonna be hot. Yeah, we yeah. got you. Yeah, the, from what everybody's saying, I haven't seen any. Have we seen anything negative yet, Rob? <laughs> I mean, you know, a couple of, of very minor. I mean, a couple of yeah. people who are uneducated about Godzilla, obviously, uh, yeah. uh, comparing it to Pacific Rim. In my personal opinion, there's no comparison. No. While way. I like Pacific Rim, it's just a different monster. No yeah. pun intended. Actually, uh, no pun yeah. intended. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's just a whole different monster in comparison. So. Yeah, and I think the texture of it, right off the bat, you can tell. There's, um, I, I don't know, maybe it's grounded in a certain more. Uh, Reality than Pacific Rim. I love what Pacific Rim did. I mean, right. you know, it's that fantasy movie that every eleven-year-old uh, boy has. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Uh, yes. And it was, that was yes. awesome for what it was. Yeah. I think it's going to be something else completely different. So, um, Patrick, I know you don't have much time, and I, I definitely have a question. When you got on this project, mm -hmm. how much how much of it were you? aware of from the beginning? Is it something that you learned as you went through filming the movie or did you kind of know everything right off the right out the gate? Um, that's a good question, man. I think, you know, uh, Gareth is a very generous director in the sense that you can have lots of conversations and he kind of talks you through the story in as much detail as is necessary for you to do what you got to do. Right. So I think um, I never had all the pieces of the puzzle. Mm. But I was always very clear on where we were at and what we were working on. And uh, it, it is revealed to you as you go. Especially nowadays, man, uh, you know, with the non-disclosure agreements and everybody's trying to keep everything under wraps and the storyline secret. Right. We even have to get leaked information. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, when you saw the trailer, what was your first reaction? There's me in the tunnel. <laughs> uh, dude, I was uh, when I saw the trailer. Yes. Um, I got hyped. I mean, my first reaction is just that halo jump and the way he built the tension, and the mm -hmm. way to get the perspective on the monster from that, you know, that eagle eye perspective coming down on it. I just thought if that's any indication of the rest of the cinematography, and. Uh, and timing of the movie, it's perfect. Yeah, because I mean, you 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 guys probably filmed that in a in a, a green stage, right? Um, actually, it's oh, a combination oh, of a lot of things, man. Like filmmaking now, especially on the scale of this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, you can call in so many methods. You know, some of it's real, some of it's in green screen, some of it's got to be, mm -hmm. you know, doctored in a certain way. Yeah, but, but the, the reason why I'm asking that because it must have been amazing to see the combination of all that into that reality that you were seeing. Because I mean, you guys didn't it really didn't see Godzilla, but now that you're seeing something yeah. of him, how did yeah. that? How did you react to that when you saw that? Uh, you know, I I was just um, just hyped, like you it's know, hyped. you see it and like. You see it come together, and it's. I think what they've done well is capture the imagination of how you pictured it when you're doing it. That's awesome. You know? So, yeah. um, Patrick, I have a question in regards to the cast. Now, one of the things I, I've been speaking about on my channel with uh, my subscribers and my viewers is I've always been impressed with the cast that they have. I mean, we know about Aaron Taylor Johnson with Kick Ass, we know about yeah. uh, Elizabeth Olsen, but I always, mm -hmm. I always complimented about the supporting cast surrounding them in terms of Juliette Binoche, Brian Cranston, and yes. Ken Watanabe. Yes. How does it yeah. feel? Uh, how did, how did, what was your reaction knowing that you were going to work with actors, uh, these veteran actors of this caliber? Um, uh, that's a great question, man. I think when you, you have a job to do when you show up, and that's really to tell the story. Um, and with a cast like that, you have the confidence that everybody's going to be right there with you, and you know you got to bring your A game. And so I think it just elevates, um, elevates the experience, knowing that you're going to be surrounded by such talent and such committed, gifted actors. It brings out the best in you, I think. 
Oh, yeah. Did you? And just to add to that real quick, did you learn anything from some of the actors that were uh, that you were working with on on set? Um. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think for me, I look at every scene as a learning opportunity. You've never worked with that scene partner before. You've never worked with that director under that circumstance before. And so it's always a learning opportunity for me. Um, That's awesome. You know, yeah. I mean, there's something about these A-listers, the confidence they have to approach their work. There's nothing holding them back, you know, and, and that's a constant reminder of, like, to trust yourself. As an artist, at least, you know, you got to trust yourself and have confidence in what you're doing. And these A-listers, that's what they bring. That is, that's excellent. That's awesome to hear. Yeah. Now, it... Uh, something I want to ask is the location. You you were in a remote location. Could you give us an idea of where you were, or you can't talk about that? It was dark. It was <laughs> up in the mountains. It was cold. It was spooky. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't want to give away too much. I mean, it's a huge sprawling story, so you can expect it to go all over the place. So, so, so basically, based on what we're seeing from the website, it's global. It's a global problem. Yeah, just think of how much ground these monsters cover when they move. Yeah. They're always going to have to move, too. Well, I can just yeah. imagine the, the sheer size of Godzilla in that trailer that came out today was in, uh, phenomenal. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen him uh, display powerful. that big. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I, here's a question I have, and this is a test question. I don't know if you can answer this, but i got to ask it. So at least... Can we get an idea of the running time of the movie? Is that something you can discuss, at, at least the length of the movie? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not privy to that information. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had to ask, you know. <laughs> yeah. Now, now your, your, your character, yeah. your, you're a master sergeant, right? Yeah. Now, did you have to study to be, because uh, in a, from what I'm getting, you're kind of like a, uh, a rough and straight arrow kind of guy in the film. Yeah, so. I mean, uh, a master sergeant, you know, has seen it all. He's been there, he's done that, except now we're in a situation that none of us have ever seen. Or none of us have ever dealt with this, you know, on an operation of this scale. But um, I think when you have a job to do, as, especially as a master sergeant, you know, people look to you to be a leader, to be confident. And uh, Walt is definitely that you know, you got balls. Nice. You know, you're going to face a creature like this. Sorry, I don't know if I could cuss. But uh, if you're going to face a creature like this, you have to have confidence, you know. He definitely brings that. And please, feel free to curse. I'm from the Bronx. That's like a second language. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, while you were fi filming, you know, we already know what his roar is going to be like. Did they yeah. use the roar as a reference when you guys were filming, like to give you like an impression of what it was? Did they... Yeah, it's usually an AD in the in the tree line going roar, <laughs> <laughs> and then he roars over, and they, you know they give it their best. They, you know, that's Gareth hilarious. Has a couple out there. Gareth has a sick roar. Um, oh man, that's hilarious. No, that man, when, when you guys heard it on the trailer, that was the first time I heard it. Wow, oh, really? wow. So they yeah. really they really took it seriously, keeping this a secret. Uh, I mean, if this is the first time you've heard the roar, I would have thought by now you'd be tired of hearing it. Nope. <laughs> I wish. No, man. <laughs> yeah, it's need to know basis a lot of times now. Wow, that's in so you basically now let me ask you, so because of the secrecy, you basically were probably getting uh some of the script or some of your, your lines and parts on mm -hmm. a need to know basis. Is that accurate? Yeah. Oh, shit. I should say that. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. So that, so they were really trying to keep that to story movie. safe, huh? Yeah, I've been on some other films, at least in this one, like, you know, you get an idea of the storyline. Uh, I remember working on a film, I guess I could say it, it was Cabin in the Woods. Uh, and I had no idea what was going on in the story. I mean, I had a couple lines, and I was described exactly what I needed to know for, to play that moment. I didn't know if we were in a hospital, we were in a prison. Like, there's certain films now that keep such tight reins on the story that even the actors that don't need to know the plot. Don't. Well, I gotta say then. I mean, that's that's just another testament 
uh, to your talent as well as some other actors. If you're put in a position where you have an act, you have to act out a scene on the fly, you don't know anything about it. That can be rather difficult. Did you have to do a lot of that on set with Godzilla? Everything felt that way because I mean, just. Uh, the way Gareth works is that he really talks to you about the situation. Is like, okay, I know what the script says, and we all know what we're here to do. But how would you react? What would you say in the situation? Mm -hmm. And and you end up, uh, I don't know. You you end up giving, having a bit of free reign to feel like you're improvising the scene, even though it's scripted. You know. So so, so he basically let you guys improvise a lot of the scenes then. Um, around them, sure. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I, you know, but you, you gotta in a chaotic situation, you gotta imagine all the all the voices, the running, going. The a certain amount of that could be scripted, but a certain amount of that you're gonna discover on the day, depending on where you are, the location, where your men are, and so you have the freedom to to kind of play within that. Well, one question: How many times in the film did you have to look up when there's nothing there? <laughs> at least one whole night one whole night, okay at least. yeah, there's a lot of that okay and that's a skill now, too did you man. do more than one, did you do more than one? Okay. sorry, what were you saying? I was going to say that's, that's, a, that's a, a tricky skill to master you try right now, just turn in and looking at nothing and making that terrified face try it right now, <laughs> it's not that easy yeah, I, I I can't even try. I I would be horrible. I would be horrible. I'd just look up and have a blank look on my face, like. Right. So. I buy that. That's pretty good. I buy that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You you don't have to be so kind, Patrick. But I appreciate well, it. <laughs> well, they might cast you for the sequel there, Rob. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, sequel. Yeah, I just make Godzilla's arch enemy. You know. <laughs> so so Patrick, I mean, how I, I know the set must have been fun. Come on, you, you guys probably were joking around, pranking each other. Yeah, dude, there was a lot. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it was a great experience. Everybody's positive. Everybody's trading stories. You know, a lot of our stuff is it was at night in the woods. So, you know, it has that kind of hanging out vibe in between setups. And uh, But the filmmaking keeps happening. It, was, it, was, it went fast. It was a fun process. Yeah, man, no complaints. So, um, so Patrick, I gotta ask another, another, another tough question because I gotta be fair to the people who are gonna view this later tonight on the live stream. All right. uh, so, here's a bit of a trick question: <laughs> How much would you say is Godzilla is the star of the movie? Like, in other words, people are gonna they're gonna wonder how much of Godzilla do they see? How much of the humans do they see? They do want that great balance. But mm -hmm. would you would you fairly say that he's the star of the film? I, you know, I can, that would be my opinion, and I think everybody's going to have to be left to their own opinion. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. I think what makes any great monster movie though is the human story, and you can't. That, and that, you know, and know that's very true. Stuff, but like, very true. Especially in this, and you can see from the trailer, there's a very real human element, and that's how you know how it lands on you as an audience. You know that's your that's your choice. And I gotta say, I'm I'm actually very much looking forward to the story because the whole Muto thing right now actually has me more interested in the film and that storyline and how that interacts with the human population, the military, and things of that nature. Okay, uh, that seems like to be something. Anything. That seems to be something that they're kind of like they're kind of drawing, trying to. At least they've drawn my attention. Yeah. Uh, can you give us anything on the Mutos, even like a word other than Muto? <laughs> Uh, badass. <laughs> badass? All right, that's everything good enough. This movie's badass. Every creature, everything is, you know, it's going to be hard hit. I'm very happy with that answer, i got to tell you right now, because it's coming uh, guys, from I, I got my source. eye on the clock here. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to have to run here in a sec. Okay. okay. All right. But uh, I really enjoyed hanging out with you guys, man. Thanks for having me on. And, um, All right. Patrick, one last thing, if you don't mind. Is there yeah. any message you want to give to the fans that are going to see this later tonight? Um... I'm a Godzilla fan just like y'all, man. So I'm, you know, I'm watching the, uh, uh, I'm watching the marketing and I'm watching the, the trailers and I'm right there with you guys. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Pat, thank you so much. And right, fellas, thanks we'll, see you, a lot. we'll see you for the premiere. Yeah, I look forward to that. I'll look out for you guys. a pleasure, Patrick. Thank you for com coming on. Thanks thank for having you. me. Take All care, right. Patrick. Take care.